All right, Jabbar Brown here with MusicMinistryNow.com. Um, right now I am using the Motif XS7 and I have um, four layers. I got the Mellow Grand Piano and I also have the Medium Section um, for strings and also for strings and pads. I have Background and I said four, I'm actually using just those three. The fourth one is R&B Soft. Um, and we're not going to use that, so um, I have um, just those three that I'll use. Um, the song is in the key of A, and then it modulates to the key of C. Okay. So I'm going to play a little bit of the beginning, and uh, we'll commence to breaking down some of the chords. Uh, we may throw in a few extra passive chords or something, you know, just something extra. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm doing here, um, as you'll see, in my right hand, I'm kind of moving around just a little bit. I'm using A, B, and E, okay? All right, I'm doing something like this here. All right, in my left hand, that down. Left hand A, D flat, and E. My right hand I'm using A, B, and E. All right. The next change in my left hand is G flat, A, and D flat. And in my right hand I'm still using this, okay? So it's all right. And then I switch my left hand I'm using B and G flat and my right hand I'm using A and D all right so once again let me play through it to a lower register. I wouldn't recommend that we use, but you know, the, the full chords as we did here. But if you decide you want to go down to a lower register, so we'll add in a few sounds here, a couple of sounds. What I recommend that we do is um, Instead of using three fingers, let's use two, which would be the G flat and the D flat. All right? So we can still do the same thing in our right hand. All right? And the first chord in our left hand can be the same. Okay? But as we go deeper, it's a little bit too muddy, so let's just use. All right? So the only thing that we're changing is the second chord. We're pretty much doing that, okay? Um, and then we're going to change. Okay. And actually, what we could do, um, there's a few ways that we can that we can play around with it. something that we that you can do 
all right? That's one way. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to my D, okay, and my G flat, all right? I'm nothing without you. way to go into it um, okay we can go into it there so what I'm doing is just walking up from a B, D flat but I'm going that I'm using on my right hand is G flat, D flat, G flat again, okay, and again, okay, one, two, three, four, okay, well actually five, but I'm rolling off of the B to the D flat, okay, and simultaneously landing on a chord. So what I'm doing there is I'm okay, just kind of playing around with it. I'm throwing in my A flat. Right? Okay, so it's a lot that you can do. Right? So A flat, A. Another way that we can do it um, is just uh, back here. All right, so I'm back to the A, B, and the E. All right. to me. They go to breathe into me. In the key of A, we can still 
still do the same thing. to me part they're going to walk up um, after you do your D and G flat and they're going to walk up so what here's what I would do here's what we can do um, left hand and walk up the bass note is A flat A and we can go back to um, D again all right but the A flat we can use A flat and E in the left hand the right hand we can use G flat B and E that we're going to do um, when we go up to the key of C. Okay, back into Breathe Into Me and then um, I'm Nothing Without You. So that and that's pretty much takes us out um, um, to the end. All right, so F or F and C in the left hand. In the right hand, I'm using F, A, and C. And sometimes I use the G. Okay. Again, you know, same concept. G, A, B, and D. Or you can just open it up. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So we're on E now. left hand. Alright. On my right hand I'm using G, C, and G. Okay, there's a couple of ways that we can right hand we can use A, D, and G. Okay. Okay. Now at the C, in both hands, according to where I am on the keyboard, if I'm too low, I don't play a three finger chord. I'll use just a two finger or three, but it'll be more of an octave um, based chord versus, you know, uh, a regular chord, major chord. All right. So, Right here, I'm using C, E, and G in both hands, all right? And then we're on D. So I have D, A, and D in the left hand, and in the right hand, I'm using F, A, and C, and E, all right? Okay, here's the 
here's another way. Another chord. Okay, we use that G, C, D, G. Okay. right hand what changes is the D, G, C in this order, okay? All right, and we can fatten up the chords just a little bit by adding in the right hand, um, G and A held down with the thumb, C, D, and G, all right? Okay, another chord changing in the right hand. We'll use G, B, C, and E. All right? Everything else can stay the same. All right? In the right hand, again, we can add in the E with our thumb. The first time, we didn't have the E in there. All right? This time, we can add the E. All right? Now, let's go through one more variation. Uh, let's see. sound good down here because it's too low, all right? All right? This is probably something that it, it, it all depends on the feel and the flow. Certain chords and um, extra notes that you can get, up, get away with. This is one that has to be put or placed at the right time, okay? So it's probably not something you want to, you may want to use it, you may not. All right. All right. Okay. And basically what I'm doing now is I'm using um, the low register, um, A, the low key of A. All right. And the, you know, just... This chord, I'm using it and I'm rolling down instead of just tagging it, all right? All right? All right. And that's just, just my way of approaching the chord, okay? So this time during the walk up, I'm using B and D, E flat. Okay. B and E flat on the left hand, A, D, and G. Okay. And then on my right hand, I'm using B, D, E, and G. Okay. Just a C major. Alright, and then we go back there. Okay. And so right here they're just pretty much doing the same thing all the way out uh, through the end. Alright? I'm nothing without you. Pretty much are pretty much the same chord progressions that we've that we've um, I've shown you, all right. And so as you can see, there's not really a lot going on in the song, and you practically have all of the chords now um, to play the song. Um, just a just a note when whenever you're using sounds like uh, you know strings and pads, okay. My, my, another way of going up. Alright, but anyway, my advice to you, using, um, we have the medium section and we have the background, just be careful on how you sustain your notes and, okay, so that they don't leave. So it may be good if you're going to use, if you're going to thicken up your pads and your strings to just cool, okay? 
थे So you want to keep it full, want to keep it thick, and minimize your movements. Okay, so that it makes sense. All right, it doesn't sound messy. All right. Okay, so we started in the key of A, and we modulated to the key of C. Um, I hope this lesson has been a blessing to you. You can take uh, some of those extra chords. You know, little small chords that we've given, and um, just use them at your at your convenience. Again, this is Jabbar Brown with MusicMinistryNow.com signing off.